second grade story for the week is the Alvin Ailey Kids Dancing as a Team. It's nonfiction, which gives us information about a topic. So this is a true story. And we're going to work on visualizing so that we could summarize it when we're done of what happened. If you keep those images in your head the whole time, you'll be able to summarize it at the end. Alvin Ailey's Kids. At the Alvin Ailey School in New York City, kids study dance. They take dance classes after school. They take classes on Saturday. Hundreds of students dance at the school. Each spring, the students at Ailey perform in front of an audience. The dancers show what they have learned during the year. Dancing is hard work. The steps have to be done just right. That takes a lot of practice. It's also a team effort. The teachers help the students learn the steps. They try to make the classes fun. The musicians also do their part. The kids have a great time while they are learning. Getting ready in the spring. Jasper and Whitney attended the Ailey School in the spring of 2004. Jasper was nine years old. Whitney was 10. Jasper started to dance when he was four. When Whitney was very young, she went with her family to a ballet. I knew then that I wanted to dance myself, said Whitney. Dance helps me to express myself. Jasper, Whitney, and the other Ailey students were excited in May. Their performance was coming up. They had two more weeks to perform to practice, then they would perform in a real theater. They would show their parents and friends what they had learned. First, they had more work to do to get ready for the show. Dance classes. The girls in Whitney's ballet class practiced their steps. Their teacher, Melanie, helped them. She wanted them to do their best. Arms open, girls, Melanie told them. Teamwork was a big part of the dance. Everyone had to do the steps at exactly the same time. You have to dance in two ways on stage, by yourself and with a group, said Melanie. The same girls also took tap class. The mood is different in tap. The music is jazzy. The shoes are noisy. The girls tapped, stomped, and marched to the music. The dance they were going to perform was long. The students did not always remember all the steps. It was also hard to stay together. We have some more work to do, said their teacher, Vic. From the top, five, six, seven, eight, smile. Vic worked for a long time with the girls. Jasper's favorite class was capoeira. It is a type of circle dance. To warm up, the boys stretched. They did kicks and jumps. To do the dance, two boys went into the middle of the circle. They kicked and moved fast. All the boys took turns. They moved in and out of the circle. The boys also sang and clapped to the music. Jasper talked excitedly about the class. I love to dance, he said. The thing I like best about dance is the beat. Capoeira is a dance from Brazil. Everyone forms a circle from, for the rota or circle dance. They sing and clap. The dancers all have bare feet. Musicians play different instruments. Dress rehearsal. The day of the dress rehearsal arrived. A dress rehearsal is a final practice before the performance. It is held where the show will take place. The students went to the theater. They thought the stage was huge. The stage manager showed them how to enter and exit the stage properly. There were new things to get used to at the dress rehearsal. Moving on the big stage felt different. The lights were also something new. Watch your spacing, said Christine, a ballet teacher. Remember you are dancing together. The students practiced their dances one last time. The next time they performed, the teachers would not be on stage with them. The dress rehearsal added more people to the team. Everyone works hard for the performance, said Jasper. Our teachers make up the dances and teach us the steps. The musicians play the music. Someone else helps with the lights. 
The stage manager tells everyone where and when to do their jobs. Then we do the dancing. The parents help out too by coming to watch us. For sure, my family will be there. Performance day. At last, the day of the performance arrived. Backstage, the dancers got ready. Then the audience took their seats. Lights, music, the show started. The sound of tapping feet filled the air. The tap dancers crossed the stage together. Their feet were flying. Ballet was next. The dancers glided across the floor with arms open. They looked as if they were dancing on air. The dance was long, but no one forgot the steps. All of their hard work had paid off. Then the capoeira began. The dancers kicked and jumped. They clapped and sang in the rota. When the dance was over, the dancers took a bow. The audience cheered. What a great performance. The show was over, but the excitement did not end. Backstage, the dancers were happy. They had done a great job. Their families gave them hugs. Their teachers were very proud. It was fun, said Whitney. We did it, said Jasper. We all did it together. <laughs>